play FIFA 17 or you want to get ready for FIFA 18, check out my coin sponsor in the description, MMOJH, and use your code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your purchases. Hey, how's it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video now. Today is the first video of FIFA 18 investing that I'm going to be doing that isn't related to Player of the Month. Obviously, we did the uh, Player of the Month investing. I'll have another video on that later on in the week, but today we are starting with the week one investing with the web app, uh, early access, and the game coming out as well. Uh, there's a few different things. We're going to go over three in this video and if you guys want more then we can do more in the future i'm joined with nick over in the foot market i'll put all of his social links in the description down below his youtube channel his twitter and his twitch he's a really really good trader lads he has over 100 million coins profit from fifa 17 that's not a joke i i don't know the total number but it's it's insane like this guy can make coins out of absolutely nothing so if you guys do want to see that and you do want to see some of his videos and his twitch streams i highly recommend it if you guys want to make coins in fifa 18 i'll leave a link in the description go check him out he's a really sound guy so we're going to talk about three different investment methods for week one we're going to be going over them i'm going to get in nick's opinion obviously you guys for some reason have no no faith in me and, and you think that i'm discredited because of one bad investment video last year whereas the rest of them were, were sound and they were solid so hopefully this year i'm not going to make the same mistake i made last year i made one mistake on one video and it like no one liked me for a long time after that and i apologize about that but hopefully this year uh that's the slate wiped clean i'm gonna go all out with the investment videos and stuff like that i intend on using them on my road to glory account in fifa 18 as well so everything that i talk about i'm gonna be doing as well so yeah without further ado lads i'm gonna unmute on discord now we're gonna go say hi nick hi to nick and let's get into it okay then, lads so we're joined by nick now and we're gonna be going over the first investment video for the first investment video first investment method for fifa 18 in the first week of fifa this is when sort of the web apps out and the companion app and uh, and early access comes out as well because it comes out on the 21st but it's not when the full game is released uh the standard edition globally because that's a week after or i think eight days after so this is for the the first week and it's actually talked about team of the week one and the ones to watch uh so what i what i put down is talking about the desirable players and the usable players from the ones to watch and from the first team of the week that people are going to be wanting to use their normal cards of because when the ones to watch comes out uh these cards are going to go rise up because people are going to want their normal cards not going to be able to afford like the ones to watch or the special card so they're going to want the normal version which is going to make the price of that go up because they're obviously not available in packs anymore so the reason i've got nick on is i actually want to hear nick's opinion and what he thinks of this so i'm going to pass it straight over to nick now you're on the spotlight, Nick. Let's hear it. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me on. Um, just as you said it correctly, like basically what happens, guys, with, with Team of the Week and, and Ones to Watch cards is that hugely desirable cards, you have a lack of special cards in the beginning of the game. So Team of the Week 1 is pretty sought after. Everyone, you know, at the time in the game, you're in the first or second week of the game. Team of the Week 1 currently has the best cards. You know, the Ones to Watch cards get released, but they have no boosts yet. They're still at the base card level, so they're just investments for their whole season at that point. Um, so you have a, you know, 23, I don't know how many cards in a team of the week, but whatever that team of the week one is, right, all those cards are super desirable. And what happens is investing in them in that in that first week is a very good look. If you guys go back and you can use a site like Footpin.com or, or the words of, of Ryan or I um, to tell you guys that over time they really rise up um, just because they become more rare and rare and they're hugely desirable cards. Now, he also mentioned um something very correct which is that you know when once the watch comes into packs um which is pretty early on it's it's on the first or second day of the full game release right so you have probably nine days before that in which you have on xbox you have a few days on the web app a few days of early access and a few days of ea access um and basically what happens is these ones the watch cards this year you know guys like Murata, guys like lukaku lacazette like pretty good sought after players will get a ones the watch card um, and what that leads to is their gold card, like, has been hardly packed. So their gold card is hardly on the market um, and just has, you know, guys like that in the BPL, guys like ones the watch cards, like, who will who will get them confirmed already, Lukaku and Lacazette, those kind of players, um, gold cards in that week um, where the ones the watch is out, they go up like crazy because their gold card is not in packs and they were hardly packed. Um, and you see this as an example, guys, if you guys, you know, don't trust us already, Eric Bailly last year, his gold card was about, like, 18, 19K um, before he went into Ones to Watch. Um, and when his card went into, turned into Ones to Watch card and his gold card went out of packs for that week, on the second day, um, if you use Flippin to look at this, on the second day, his gold card was already up to around 29 or 30K. So if you only bought one of them at 18 or 19K, you're already going to make 10K on the second day. 
And and towards the end of that week of ones to watch is being in packs and his gold cards still not being in packs. You know, you saw buy go all the way up to like 45, 46K. You can basically double or triple um, most of these investments if you're buying, you know, during the early times before the full game release and before these ones to watch cards come out. Um, those those two kind of investments with team of the week one investing where you can invest in their informs because the informs get rarer over time or you can even invest say like team of the week one last year um say a guy like de bruyne or a guy like icardi lamar felipe luis just to name a few um those guys get team of the week one cards it's the same thing with the gold card investing with the ones to watch methods you know you can go pick up a gold felipe luis a gold lamar a gold icardi a gold castro a gold de bruyne those kind of guys will go up because they have week in league demand and their gold card goes out of packs and it was so rare um already that the demand just kills the supply the demand in the beginning of fifa is mad um most gold cards go up like crazy regardless if their card is is out of packs so imagine if a card goes out of packs for a full week in the first week of fifa um the growth and, and the money making potential coin potential making guys you guys have is great on those those two are very good looks. So to touch upon what Nick just said, uh, he was talking about um, the rarity of some cards, obviously when they're only in packs on like the web app and the companion app and early access, then they get a team of the week. I want to talk about the players that get uh, a once to watch card and happen to get a team of the week in the same first week. For example, Brie Bolo last year. Last year, he was a once to watch from the start of FIFA and he got an inform card. But because the ones to watch came out from, I think it was Friday to Friday, um, he only had about three or four days where he was in the team of the week. So the striker inform card was about 180k or something stupid like that. Whereas the ones to watch card was only 30 to 40k. I want to touch, and I want to touch upon that because uh, I feel like there are going to be some players that are going to be in the team of the week and the ones to watch that will become very rare. That first inform will become very rare for a while. Whereas the ones to watch card for some reason isn't as uh, expensive as, for example, the inform card is because uh, the ones to watch card has already been in packs for a week, whereas the inform card gets into packs for maybe like three days. So I just wanted to point that out there and think that maybe it's a good idea if you see a player that does really well, that's going to get a ones to watch card um, in the first week, maybe investing in that inform because for the first couple of days when he's in the team of the week and he's in packs, he's not as expensive as when he goes out of packs. That's when the rise, the huge rise goes when he comes out of packs after three days. Uh, I thought that it might be a good idea if you guys do want to pick a card like that up. It might be, it's a little bit risky, but it's one of those cards. Where, it might be one of those cards where you get a huge, huge rise when he's out of packs because obviously the rarity of the card rather than just having the inform and the ones to watch separately. Next up for, this is this is more, not just week one, but we'll get onto the week one in a minute. Nick's going to take over in a second for the week one of consumable investing. But one thing I wanted to talk about that's always really popular uh, for the first week, it makes a lot of coins, is purchasing players that are of a different position to what they use to come out of packs. For example, Musonda this year is a right mid, but a lot of people will want him as a right forward, obviously with a five star, five star, eight some pace, he'll make a great right forward or a right winger, but they don't want to spend the coins to convert into a right winger or a right forward they'll just go and find the cheapest right middle uh, right wing or right forward in the market and buy them because i know that a lot of people i've experienced anyway a lot of people don't always know the correct price of consumables and they'll go ahead and they'll buy the right forward for like three and a half k when in reality you can probably convert him for like 1.8 to 2k i've noticed that with a lot of people because I, I see a lot of people are buying these cards for so expensive without realizing that it's a lot cheaper to convert them so what i recommend doing is if you guys are in 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 looking to do something like this and i'll make a video closer to the uh, data fifa as well about this like a whole separate video about sniping the players in different positions um, I'd recommend just uh, filtering different players or just filtering itself as a right forward or a right winger or a left forward left winger and just seeing how cheap you can get the players. If you can get them cheap, for example, last year I remember picking up uh, Connor Palenka at the start of the year. He was going for like 3k and I got him for 3.7 as a left forward rather than a left mid. Sold it for like 5k, 6k. Uh, if you can find players that are quite cheap or quite close to their normal price but in a different position, they're usually a pretty good player to pick up because a lot of the time people are either lazy buy or they just buy the player in like the left forward or right forward position without realizing how much it actually costs. All right, basically, so Ryan hit it off, um, you know, with the position change investing. I, I didn't go crazy investing with the position change cards itself last year because the, the method that Ryan mentioned is very true. A lot of people are super lazy uh, in this game, and, and EA has not really made it that easy to go get a position change card, and then you got to go all the way back to your squad, and then you got to go throw it on the on the player, and it just takes a lot of effort. So people are, in my experience as well, like willing to pay that extra K 
Um, and, and it's a great method, what he just mentioned. Now, I'm going to go and talk about more consumables in general. I'm talking about squat fitnesses um, and some chem styles the first week. Guys, on the web app, chem styles and squat fitnesses like are literally have no n- n- almost no price. They're, they're the closest thing to discard. Um, and, and you can pick up like squat fitnesses on bid for 500, 600 coins in the beginning. Um, because on the web app, guys, there's no way you can play games. There's literally no way you can play games until EA access um, and early access has, is out. And if you think about it, right, there is not that many people that will actually be on like the console game six days before the release or whenever the first early access is. Think about all the people that are not willing to spend that extra money to get on early and all the people that will be coming on the 29th when the global release is. Um, and basically what happens is if you can pick up some squad fitnesses, um, and, and last year there was Hunters going for 3K and Shadows going for like 2.8. If you guys can pick some of those up in the first week kind of on the early access or the web app, the earlier the better in my opinion, um, you're going to be making bank because everyone is trying to get on that first weekend league and everyone needs fitness, everyone needs position change cards. It's one of those things, guys, that is just going to happen. No matter how many people talk about it, um, the demand will completely exceed the supply. So if you get in early and you pick up squad fitnesses for, I would say, safely under 750 coins, the gold ones, and if you can go pick up like any hunters or shadows for under, you know, two, five or three in that range, um, you're going to be looking to sell those two camp styles for max price come that like October 7th, October 8th, whenever the first weekend league is. Um, and the squad fitnesses, guys, like those, you never know what those, those completely depend on how many people are playing the game and how many people need fitness. But I would say that those, those always have a shot of going over 2K and it's, it's not out of the question that you could be tripling coins with squad fitnesses. I really think consumables, if you guys are looking for that kind of low key, really safe investment and something that is just going to naturally happen on the game, not too much risk. We don't have to base it off last year's trends. We just know what's going to happen. Um, then consumables and, and kind of what Ryan just talked about and what I just talked about are, is definitely the way to go. So the last one for today, and by the way, if you guys want to see more videos like this with Nick in the future, all you got to do is drop a like down there and leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see Nick in the future. Nick's a very good trader and is definitely going to be featured on the channel in the future. I just want to know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me and Nick for FIFA 18. So the last one I want to talk about is discard non-rares on the web app. Now, a lot of people, when they get on the web app, they'll uh, chuck up their players that they get from their loyalty and their start packs straight away they'll just throw up their uh, throw up their 75 to 76 rated non rares from like uh, Russian League for example uh, for like 3 to 400 coins just because they want that starter like liquidation of their coins uh, straight away they want to see how many coins they can get on the web app they want to see how many coins they can get for the game so they'll just chuck them up what I recommend doing is bidding on these cards for 300 coins and just keeping them in your club until the game drops a lot of the time they go up and the reason is is because last year what we saw was the two player uh, two rare gold player pack hype that got so so out of control last year people were doing it so much because they saw how rewarding they were for everybody else that they started buying non-rares for like 500 coins a piece it's crazy now one thing i'm going to touch upon in the next video about this is actually the league spcs and how you can sort of make coins this sort of way with the league spcs i'm not going to touch upon it in this video unfortunately but for this video i wanted to end it off and talking just about the uh, two red gold player packs and how hyped they were last year and how hyped they could be this year it could be a little bit different now in the web app we are obviously they're remodeling the web app we're going to get spcs in the web app we could see the two player pack spcs in the web app if we do that then it might be a little bit more difficult but you probably probably still could mass bid and get a lot of plays for 300 coins each so i recommend doing that because they seem to always go up and even if if not then i'll have another video showing you guys how you guys can make some coins with that so without further ado i think that is it for the video if you guys did enjoy then leave a like down below don't forget to go and check out nick i'll leave all his links in the description down below great trader definitely worth us's time thank you for watching and i'll see you lads later <laughs>